Hello everyone. Welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, we are going to take a new problem from Harvard MIT tournament from 2018. In this problem, we have x to the power of 2x to the power of 6 is equal to 3. And we are looking to find the value that we can have for x belongs to positive real numbers to satisfy this equation. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, as usual, please make sure that you pause the video to think about this interesting problem. See you in a bit. To solve this problem, I'm going to replace x to the power of 6 with t. If x to the power of 6 is t, then 2x to the power of 6 is going to be 2t, and then we will have x to the power of 2t is equal to 3. Now let's see what we can say about this equation. We have x to the power of 2t is equal to 3. We know t is equal to x to the power of 6. However, if we ignore that, the relationship between x and t is not known. We have two unknown variables and we don't know how to solve it. We are going to use a trick in a bit. If x to the power of 2t is equal to 3 and we take power of 3 of both sides, we will end up with x to the power of 2t to the power of 3 is equal to 3 to the power of 3. x to the power of 2t to the power of 3 is going to be x to the power of 6t and we have x to the power of 6t is equal to 3 to the power of 3. Now remember, x to the power of 6 was t. We can write it as t to the power of t is equal to 3 to the power of 3. And obviously, t is going to be 3. Now the question that we need to answer is if we have any value other than 3 to satisfy this equation. To do this, we need to understand a few things here. First of all, note that for t is greater than 1, t to the power of 3 is going to be an always increasing function and t to the power of 3 is equal to 27 will always have one crossing point between t to the power of 3 and 27. On the other hand, if t is less than 1, then t to the power of 3 is going to be less than 1 and this means t to the power of 3 cannot be equal to 27. This concludes that we only have one solution for t, which is 3. From here, we can say that x is going to be the sixth root of 3, and that concludes our solution. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles, math involved activities, and problems from different math competitions and Olympiads from different countries, please kindly subscribe to the channel. This is the Security Channel. See you in the next video.